Hi, my name is Jenny Pedigo, and I want to show you how to use the QCR Mini today. Um, when you purchase the Mini, it comes with a free table runner pattern, which is this cute little pattern. And I'm going to show you how to make this little block right here. So, Okay, so I have two five-inch squares and I'm going to stack them on top of each other. They can be right sides up, right sides down, facing, it doesn't matter for this block. And then on the ruler there are some dashed lines and those dashed lines sit on the edges of these two sides on my two five-inch squares. So what's, once I'm all lined up, a medium rotary cutter works best. I'm going to cut in my curved cutout. We're going to swap the fabrics. So there's those two for that block and those, those two for that block. So I'll go ahead and sew these two together, right sides together, convex on top, and concave on the bottom and that bottom piece extending about a quarter of an inch so as we sew these two curves together we want to make sure the curves stay together right underneath the foot and we use a quarter inch foot for sewing these curves and we want to just um, at first, just take it slow and gradually ease those two pieces together. So you don't need to pin your blocks. You don't need to find your center. So you can see how nice Nice that sewed up. So now we're going to iron this block. And I'm going to press from the back and I'm going to press towards my focus piece of fabric or my big chunky side. But really it will um, it will press any way. That seam will press any way you, you want it to. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to square that up to a five inch or sorry a four inch block and the QCR mini, mini is also a square up ruler so I'm going to um, I'm going to set the block underneath my ruler just like this and I have taken a sharpie and I've made two little dots one here on the four inch vertical line an eighth of an inch in on the edge and then one over here on the four inch horizontal line an eighth of an inch in from the edge of the ruler. So my seam is going to sit right underneath this dot here and that dot. And once I'm all lined up I'm going to trim off my two sides, rotate my block and then I'm going to line up those previously trimmed sides just right underneath my four inch lines here and here. And trim off my other two sides. And that is it. That's the block. And as you can see on the runner pattern, that, that is the block that, that um, makes up this runner pattern. So. This is a really good pattern to start with as you, um, before you get into a bigger project and so you can practice sewing these curves. So um, I, um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, you're welcome to email us at sewkindofwonderful at gmail.com or go to our website at sewkindofwonderful.com. Thank you.